Next in our training, we have the authentication settings. By default, FileCloud uses its own authentication option. That means the users and the passwords are stored in the FileCloud database. However, you have other alternatives in case you are running, for example, FileCloud on-premise and you have it running on your network and you also have an Active Directory server which already manages your users and passwords. You can decide uh, from the authentication section on the settings to use Active Directory. And the settings are very straightforward. You have your host IP address, your port, if you're using TLS or SSL for the connection, the account suffix, the base DN, the mail attribute. And there's also a special setting here. Let's say you have um, a thousand users, but you're only deploying file flow to the first 100 users. You can decide to add those users to a new Active Directory security group that you can call, for example, FileCloud. And you can put your limit group in here. That will force FileCloud to double check whenever someone is logging in, if that user belongs to the FileCloud group. If not, it will not allow the logging. Uh, one important thing to note here for Active Directory integration is that when you configure your AD, as authentication method, you don't have to import your users into FileCloud. Every time a user that tries to log in in FileCloud and it's already part of your Active Directory, the FileCloud server is going to check if that account exists. And if it does, it will create automatically an account on FileCloud using their AD settings. And that's why this limit a group is very important because otherwise anyone can log in and create an account by default, but you can limit it using this. You can use the account name and the account password. And you can also disable, a, for example, if your AD server doesn't allow anonymous binding, you can disable it from here and put the service name and password. One important thing to note is that if you're going to use Active Directory and you're also going to use NTFS permissions, in your Windows server where FileCloud is running, your Apache service has to be running with an account that has enough permissions to do lookup operations on your Active Directory server.